Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back. In this one, we have another trade that has sent Mitch Moreland from the Boston Red Sox to the San Diego Padres. Before we get started, hit that like button and the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. The trade deadline is almost 24 hours away. Crazy, crazy stuff happening. Josh Hader, Mike Clevenger, Starling Marte, David Peralta, and so many other big names may, may be on the move. So you don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified when I upload a video talking about those trades. All right, so this trade here uh, is is actually probably a, is a big trade for both the Padres and the Red Sox. The Padres are acquiring Mitch Moreland. Mitch Moreland so far this year in 2020 is hitting 328 with eight home runs, 21 RBIs, and is hitting at a w incredible 1.177 OPS. Moreland in his career is a 253 hitter, 174 home runs, and hitting at a 770 OPS. Right now, Moreland is going crazy hot for the Red Sox. Eight home runs. He's one of the very, very few players in this Red Sox lineup that is doing good right now. Moreland is currently tied to a contract for the remainder of the 2020 season and well as has a team option for 2021. Not only is Moreland going to be helping the Padres for the remainder of this year, he's going to bring his amazing bat back to San Diego on this team option, which I'd assume that the Padres uh, will pick up considering what they gave up. The Padres have given up top prospects Hudson Potts and, and Heeson Rosario. Rosario is the number 16 ranked prospect in now the Red Sox organization. He has a 50 hit, 45 power, 55 run, 50 arm, 55 field, and an overall of 45. His career in the minor leagues is hitting 264 uh, with 7 home runs, 93 RBIs, and uh, 37 stolen bases. So Rosario is more of a contact hitter. He's not going to hit for much power unless he can develop that. Develop that. But overall, we're, what we see from him is a contact, more of a uh, contact speed type hitter. So definitely will be able to steal some bases. Definitely an interesting player. Ranked 16 overall in the Red Sox organization. Does have some potential. The Red Sox are also getting uh, third baseman, second baseman uh, prospect, who's now the 20th overall in their organization, Hudson Potts. Potts has a 40 hit, 50 power, 45 run, 55 arm, 50 field, overall of 45. He was drafted first round in 2016, and career-wise uh, in the minors, he, he's hitting 256 with 57 home runs, 17 stolen bases, and has a slugging of 428. So overall, Potts is more of a power, uh, power speed guy, which is one of the rare things. He did steal tw uh, 10 bases in 2016. So it's it's inter will be it'll be interesting to see uh, if Potts develops anything. I think Potts probably has more potential with than Rosario in the game of baseball that's now of a power age. But overall, I think that the Red Sox made a very very fine trade. You guys brought back Mitch Moreland this year, and overall, it's uh, yielding you two top twenty prospects. So overall, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section below. I definitely think that the Red Sox probably won this trade. Again, the win now, obviously, Padres are going out and trying to bolster their team up and prepare it for the postseason. I do expect the Padres to probably go out and make a couple more moves if it's for a, that big starting pitcher or if it's for another bullpen arm or just another bat in the lineup considering they have had a handful of injuries. The Padres are a fun team to watch. They just keep getting better. Again, let me know what y'all think. Comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll be coming out with a Jose Martinez video shortly. i see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.